This verse in Acts 17 says this, listen carefully. And at times of this ignorance, God winked at. Now, the times of this ignorance is referring to the verses before. And like this is a time over the history of the world where people served other gods. They were into idolatry. As an example, and that's just one form of sin, it says, for as much then as we are the offsprings of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven, you know, cut by art in men's devices. And now let's read the verse. In times of this ignorance, they're really ignorant doing those things. Of course, some people think we're ignorant serving God and believing in a resurrected Savior named Jesus. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at. It says, but now commands men everywhere to repent. So he overlooked a lot. He still does. He's not exactly overlooking at it. And what says he winked at it, he's just kind of saying, okay, I'll just, I'll kind of blink my eye at it. Like, you know, and I, I understand you're ignorant. How tolerant is God? Is God an intolerant God? Intolerance and tolerance is a big subject continually in the culture of today. You're just intolerant. And there's cancer culture. You know, intolerance with you. I cut you off. Sheesh, it's terrible. What about God? How tolerant is he? I'm going to tell you right now. He's extremely tolerant right now. It's shocking Lee, he's shockingly intolerant. I mean, tolerant. It's just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous, crazy patience that he has. It's really won my heart to him. It makes me want to please him because he's so patient and he's tolerated a lot for me. Wow. Some people think God's mean and cruel. Not at all. But he will judge. And there's times all the way through the scripture. I mean, that could be a long class of lessons here if you think about it, as I think about it. I mean, there's case after case that God finally said enough and he tore them up. But consider just a few. How about Noah's time? Or let's go way back. <laughs> he was tolerant with Cain. He just killed his brother and he let him live. Not always. Um, he was tolerant with Everybody, <laughs> think about it, every single person in the Bible, very tolerant. But there is a time he's, I'm finished. I'm not going to tolerate your actions. I'm not going to tolerate you in this earth anymore. Consider Noah's time. Now, it seems suggested that he waited for 120 years. The Bible does say he waited a long time. It's a commentary on the Peter and, you know, the, behold the long suffering of God. And that's a point like, wow, long suffering. He's suffering. He's... He was suffering in pain and watching the sin and everything is very, very for patient, patient, really big time. Romans 2, 4 is a great verse that talks about, hey, well, let's read that real quick. It talks about the forbearance. I love that word. The forbearance of God and his patience, his long suffering. Like what he's saying is don't trifle with God on this. Like he's really being patient with you very patient with me, you know, and finally he's done after a while. And by the way, if God doesn't really put it down forever, he's denying justice. He's evil. He's an evil God. If he finally just, he lets evil just continue. I love this verse. It's so sweet. It says, um, what did I say? I said two, four. I meant to say, I hope I said that earlier. I just turned it four, two, two, four says this. Woo. He says, or do you despise the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering? Listen to those three words. His goodness, like just so good. He's so kind. Um, and some translations say kind there. Oh, or do you despise the riches? I like that word riches and how wealthy is God. We're talking rich. <laughs> the riches of his goodness. You know, Paul's really emphasizing. Do you realize how good he is? He loads you up. He's bountiful. He's generous with it. He's not poor and forbearance, putting up with. And that's what we're talking about, the tolerance of God, how tolerant is God and long suffering. That's patience. 
not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? I've said that over and over to God and to others. But to me, it was the goodness of God that led me to repentance and led me to change, to turn my heart towards Him. He's won my heart forever because of this very subject, how God has tolerated me in my sins. <laughs> I'm like, really? You're so good and so kind. Sweetheart of a God. I say that a lot. Like, He's such a sweetheart of a God. He really is a sweetheart. He's a sweetie. God is very, very, very precious and very, very sweet. Behold the tolerance of God towards you. I mean, the fact is when you realize, you say, well, why, why? He knows we're human and all that. Yeah, but we have choices and you're not made to do evil and, and, and sin. And if you realize the justice of God and the purity of God and the holiness of God, like <laughs> when you realize the hatred, passionate hater of sin that he is, and that he still tolerates putting up with it and his justice demands punishment. You have that, I'm sure, in certain areas of society where you get so mad. I'm in a, almost a rage, not really, but I'm just so angry at certain things that you see people have done to others and all. Ooh, it just gets really, it's a righteous hatred of an anger. And I've experienced some of that. I've experienced how God feels about stuff. He's not schizo. He's not a schizophrenic, you know, any, but I'm telling you, he has his love and his goodness is what produces such an anger and hatred of sin. Consider hell. God will not tolerate evil in his universe and he will put it down. He gives a long, long time, that 120 years of Noah's time until they became so bad. There was not one good thought in them continually. They, they thought evil in their hearts and their imaginations and their minds finally said, he was up to his neck with it. And there's all over the place. And, you know, it was tough on Ananias and Sapphira. Or it was tough on Akon. Akon. You know, um, the dude who hid the goddesses and all that. He had him killed. He was tough on the guy that was collecting sticks on the Sabbath. You say, wow, that was intolerant of him. You don't know the guy's heart. And you also don't know that uh, how God used that as an example for others. I mean, I mean, seriously, the God just rebelled. The guy just rebelled. Or Uzziah, who the ark was tipping and he set it up and everything. If you read verses before that, it explains how, how that was such a, an abomination before God. God is holy and sacred. And there's cases all over, Old Testament and New. Herod, um, you know, th he was, people were saying, worship it, not Herod the Great, not Herod Antipas. One of the Herods of the scriptures is uh, Acts 12. Remember that passage where he was... Uh, accepting praise like they were praising him like he was a god and he didn't say no 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 he didn't deny it i think it's 10 days later or something knocked him out the fool abigail's uh, husband nabal nabal i think it is or something like i hope that's right i might be wrong how he was taken out you know i mean just god there is a time that god's not going to tolerate he's putting up with the lot and he'll put it down when he sees in his great wisdom a time to put down or a time to be tolerant but right now overall He's tolerating a lot in this earth. We're, we're, we're living in a dark and wicked world. It's very corrupt. We're living in towards, I think, in the days of Noah, like it's really getting bad. A violence and increase in sin and coldness of hearts and just a rejection of God and His Word and people not really living for God, not going to church, etc., 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 etc. And yet He's not knocking it out. He's kind of sitting back folding his arms, tolerating a lot. Now, I, I could, you know, I've kind of given you enough feel for all this, but I want to emphasize this in ending. And I've said it, but I could say it a thousand times and it's fresh every single time. God is very tolerant. Behold, the forbearance, the love, the goodness, the patience of God. See, I feel moved on that when I say it because I know how, the reality of it. God is very, very patient with me, very patient with you. Don't play with that. Don't trifle with him. Just let your heart be won from that. Like, wow, he's so sweet to me. He's so good. I think that gets it. So, yes, very tolerant. Accept that tolerance and repent. God bless you.